So last night, after 15 years, the colonel walks into my office. Made me take a good hard look at myself. Maybe I have hit bottom, and maybe I do look like hell. Lord knows the only exercise I've had lately is tipping the bottle and flipping cards into my hat. I gotta find some work. Contrary to what the colonel might think, I'm as good a detective as he ever was. Now I just gotta prove it. I'm gonna scare up a job today, even if it means finding somebody's lost puppy. Oh boy, mail. A pre-approved electronic shop credit card application addressed to the previous occupant. Just needs to be signed, stamped, and mailed. My phonograph's an old family heirloom. I love to play the classics. Cool in the game, Peaches and Herb. That's the door to the street. My gun. I love it so much! Old trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam! Hey, bam, bam, bam! Bam! Bam, bam! Bam! And you! Hey! Hey, Sonny, can you help me out? My girlfriend threw my gun out of the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't... Don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know. Oh, my hell. No matter how bad things got, I always had my gun. Now I've lost that, too. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those days. This pure mountain spring water is indispensable, literally. I'm out of paper cups. Great-great-grandpa Murphy made it through the Depression by teaching cha-cha lessons to rich older women. He made thousands before the authorities found out he had no formal training. Ah, the clock. All I've ever needed was a soft felt fedora, a well-tailored overcoat, and a comfy pair of sneakers. Some people know what they like, and they stay with it. That hutch holds a life's worth of knick-knacks, paddywhacks, and the world's largest piece of elbow macaroni. I call this painting, uh, The Big Spill. Well, since the building inspector has only one eye and no depth perception, the hotel manager painted fire extinguishers in all the apartments. It saved him a bundle. That's a perfect bed for a destitute P.I. Small, lightweight, no sheets required. This piece of art is called Two Whales on a Bender. This one really isn't art, it's a placemat from Taco Bob's. The UI of U was the only place that would accept me. Half the course credit was earned by locating the university. <sighs> spent weeks earning this baby. Best 20 bucks I ever spent. CrimeLink computer is the only valuable piece of equipment left in the office. By entering suspect information like height, weight, and hair color, I can access the suspect's personal files. Oh, great. Another incoming message that won't print out. If 
I don't get a new fax machine, I'll be out of business. Ah, Sylvia, my ex-wife. Whenever I think things can't get any worse, I think about her and how she totally screwed up my life. She's a woman who loves a man, any man, any time. I'll never forget the day I came home early and caught her with the upholstery man. Oh, there you are. I just got done with the chair. I'll be sending the bill to your husband. Oh, Rudy. Let's not think about my husband right now. I was I was watching you upholstery and you're so big and strong. Do you really think so? Well, yes. God, I've only known you for ten minutes and I feel like I've known you forever. Oh, yes, look. And look at this muscle. Oh. The way you hold me, Tex, Tex never held me like this. <clears throat> oh, kiss me, Rudy, and set my lips on fire. Okay. Oh, Tex, honey, I wasn't expecting you home so soon. Well, duh, obviously. Now I know why the Rota Rooter man keeps calling and asking whether we need our plumbing checked. Well, I got to admit, those chairs look pretty good. Uh, thanks. Listen, how about I don't charge you on the labor and we call it even? Fair enough. But from here on out, Rudy, customer servicing doesn't include my wife. See, honey? I saved you some money again. Aren't you happy? I married her for better or worse. Unfortunately, it never got any better. The scotch guard that Rudy's upholstering service put on my office chairs will stand up to anything. And I ought to know. Things look pretty slow on the street today. Most of these desk drawers haven't been used for so long, I'm afraid to open them. As usual, it's a mess. This is probably the only writing utensil that works in the whole office. One last $10 stamp waits patiently to be licked and mailed. The office was actually a dance studio before I moved in, and Latin dancing is a Murphy family tradition. The air outside feels thick, like I'm breathing through a pair of dirty gym socks. It's a high radiation day, most everyone will be staying inside, but I need to hunt for some work. I always like to start the day with the traditional P.I. breakfast. Mmm, <coughs> that hits the spot. My trusty 31 lightning bolt speeder. I still regret not getting the sunroof option. 